We're looking for tornadic thunderstorms in northwest Texas, and so my soundings team has just launched a ray wind sonde, uh, which uh, measures temperature and moisture and wind above the ground on, uh, by following a uh, weather balloon up through the atmosphere. Each team on a, a very active day could launch four, five, or even six balloons. So over four teams, that's roughly you know, 25 soundings on, on one storm day. Yeah, one thing that's unique about the sounding data is that we get measurements of temperature and moisture above the ground, which is not easy to get. It's, it's actually quite complicated. Uh, we have many other teams like the mobile mesonets and, uh, and surface instruments that can get measurements of, of temperature and humidity near the ground, but above the ground it's, it's just our ballooning system. And we also have uh, an unmanned aerial vehicle uh, that operates um, in an area of northwest Kansas and uh, southwest uh, Nebraska. Um, but here in Texas, they're not uh, um, permitted to fly. And so here in Texas, the only place where we can get these measurements is from the Raywin Sons. And the goal is to um, look at the environment that surrounds thunderstorms and try to understand which thunderstorms produce tornadoes and which don't. And maybe we can re relate that to the stability and wind profiles uh, near them. And the weather balloons are launched every day by the National Weather Service, so it's hopeful that uh, what we learn close to storms will help us better use that data that the National Weather Service launches every day. There's a couple challenging uh, parts. One is just being on the road every day, different hotel, checking in, checking out every day. And then when you're in the field, it's trying to be where the storms are going to be when they form, because you don't know exactly where the storm's going to be. And then when the storm forms, it's challenging to keep in contact with your team members. I'm a, I'm a coordinator of this team, and so I have to be in constant contact with these four or five teams, uh, informing them of the weather, uh, telling them where to go and when to launch balloons, and then keeping track of my team, my, my truck as well. And so there's just a lot of information to process every day, and it, there's very long days. We start at 10 in the morning, we sometimes end at 10 at night, and you do it all again the next day. So here's an example of a, of a Raywin sonde. It has an arm that collects uh, uh, temperature information, um, relative humidity, and this is the, the GPS receiver. And then it has a, you know, a long string, and then you attach this to the balloon, and it, it carries it aloft. It detects the wind by um, knowing you know, where it is at any given time using the GPS. So by tracking its position over time, you know how fast the wind speed is and how the wind is, is moving it along.